No, I'll just do it right now. The key difference in what's going to make you stand out and be more sanctified and be more of a peculiar person in the world's eyes is when you put that priority on being in church where it's not something that's negotiable. It's not something that like, you know, on, on a day-to-day -day basis or maybe on a Saturday thing, oh, what am I going to do with my day-to-day? -day? I don't know. Maybe I'll go to the park. Maybe I'll go do this. Maybe I'll go have fun and do that. Maybe, you know, when you make the priority that, and you say church is very important, I'm going to make sure I'm going to be there. It's not a question anymore. It's not a choice. You don't wake up in the morning and say, well, I'm going to go to church today. I don't know. I don't kind of feel like it today. It's not one of those decisions that ought to be made just on a whim or whether or not you feel like going. I guarantee you, most of you, if not all of you, hopefully all of you that have jobs and go to work, you don't wake up every day that, and it's your work schedule and you're supposed to go into work and I think, well, I don't know. Should I go into work today or not? No, you're going to go into work. Right? I mean, you, you've, you've put an importance on it. You've placed a priority that going to work and providing and getting paid and supporting myself, these are all important things for my life, and I'm going to make sure that that gets done. Well, just as much, if not more, I would say even more important than your very job and making sure you're getting to work on time, getting work done, is making sure you're getting to church and being in church. It is that important. It is not something to be taken just lightly and just tossed around. And, you know, people, I'll get into that in just a minute, but um, I think one of the biggest problems that people have with not putting enough emphasis or not enough priority on making sure that we're getting to church is just a lack of understanding or appreciation for what church really is and what the Bible describes church as. We're, we started off reading in Ephesians chapter 5, and it's because the latter portion of this passage talks a great deal about the importance of church. Now, typically, what you'll hear preached on in that last portion of Ephesians 5 is about husbands and wives because it talks a great deal about the relationship. But it, it's relating that to Christ and the church. So instead of preaching on husbands, I've already, I've already taught on that using this very passage. We're going to look at some of these verses and see the importance now from the other end, right? Because that great truth of, a, of the relationship between a husband and wife, it's using the relationship with Christ in the church to give that example and to help us understand how our, our marriage ought to be. But he says here in um, verse number 23, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Now, we're going to see a few other verses in, other, in a few other places that talk about this, but the church is literally the body of Christ. And we're going to see that all throughout Scripture. A church is referred to as a body. Jesus Christ is the head of that body. So being the head, that's where the mind is. That's where all the direction comes from, right? Our heads, our minds is what determines what the rest of our body is going to do. If I want to walk over here, my mind is telling my feet to go and do that. My, my mind is going to tell my hand to pick up this cup, to take a drink. Whatever my mind is directing the rest of my body to do, my head's in charge. And the church is the body of Christ. The church is what God uses to get his work done on this earth. And he's using the church. He's not just using you as just some individual off, you know, just decide, I'm, I'm going to stay away from church. I'm going to stay at my home. You know, that's not the way that he wants to use. He wants to use a church as a body to get the most work done. You're part of the body. You need to be part of the body. That's how we're going to do the most for God. And that's where God wants you to be. That's not to say no one can ever do anything at all for God if they're not in church. But that's not the point. Because that's not where God wants you to be. He wants you to be here. He wants you to be with the body. He wants you working together. And as the head, he wants you to go and do whatever he wants you to do. And we come here to receive that instruction. We come here as the body to receive that instruction from God's word so that we can all be unified as a body working together to get the work done. And when you start thinking about this as 
the body coming together to get things done for Christ, first of all, that should be a big indicator. Hey, this is actually pretty important. Let's all get on to say, let's all be part of that body that Christ is the head of.